Soccer 605 here with John Palmer, the head coach of the Sturgis Boys. Uh, you know, John, you're out here in uh, Sioux Falls, and I'm sure your guys aren't used to feeling the kind of humidity that we have here tonight. Oh, no, definitely. This is something new right now. I've already heard a couple people saying it's pretty humid here. I said, yeah, just keep drinking that water and stay hydrated. So. <laughs> Well, you know, you got to have it, and you know, that's I guess it's a good learning experience. These kids that live down here and live in this stuff, or you know, they're drinking water all the time. And yeah. you know, by the looks of your team, looks like you kind of got a mixed bag there. Some senior leadership, but you got some young guys too. Yeah, definitely a couple, couple of seniors, and a lot of, a lot of seventh and eighth graders coming up. We're going to be a JV and future varsity, so let's try to throw them in the mix now. <laughs> well, you know, you invest that time in those kids, you know, and it always pays off down the road. Yeah, it, it truly does. Uh, just even coaching even some of the younger, like U10 and U12, and I see them now coming up here. So they're uh, mixing it up with the older guys, and it's, it's fun to see. Well, it is, and, you know, I'll tell you, it, it makes a big difference down the road. Well, you know, um, your first year as a sanctioned program, like most people, and, uh, you know, some of you schools, you smaller schools like you here on uh, Mitchell, uh, smaller programs uh, kind of got thrown in kind of a baptism of fire this year playing all double A. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a new speed that some of these kids haven't seen yet, but uh, the only thing you can do is just try to prepare the best and, and deal with it when it comes. So, Well, you know, if you if you get out and you're playing in that uh, type of environment, it just all of a sudden becomes natural for yep. the players, and then they pick it up. Yep, definitely. Maybe they don't believe that they can do something, and then when they see these guys doing it, they're like, oh, it's not, you know, let's just work a little harder, and it'll eventually get there. Well, and it looks like, you know, you've got a schedule where you're going to be able to have, uh, you know, some games with some teams, you know, very similar to your caliber, so you're going to, you're set up to have some success this year, too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think uh, these first couple games will definitely be something to look at and show our weaknesses and where we can improve, and hopefully by the second part of this schedule, we'll be uh, rolling right along. Getting some W's. Well, you know, that's the one thing they say if you play a good team, they, they get to show you right where your weak spot is right away, don't they? <laughs> that is that is very true. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, John, I'll let you get back to your team here. I really appreciate you taking some time to uh, during warm-up to talk with us a little bit, and uh, we'll be keeping a close eye uh, on how your team does down the road. I think you're going to be able to enjoy some success. So. All right. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, John.